What's up everybody? My name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we were talking about An Emotion of Great Delight by Tahira Mafi. This is Tahira Mafi's most recent release and I was very excited to pick this book up because I really liked her book A Very Large Expansive Sea. That was really really great. I loved the commentary and everything behind it. It made me want to read Shatter Me. I have still only read the first book in that series. I promise I'm gonna continue on with that series but An Emotion of Great Delight. So this is a story about a Muslim family like right after 9-11. It's, it's been about a year or two, but like they're really going through it. They're like in the thick of it. I wouldn't say that this book is necessarily about 9-11, but you can't really write a story centered in this time about this family and not have it greatly be part of the story. I think mostly it's just about the political climate, her fellow students react to her and all that kind of stuff. But this story is about a girl named Shadi and her life has basically just been like upended. We have two different time periods that the story takes place in. One is a year before the story and then one is the current time. And we find out that Shadi has had a falling out with her friend. She's lost her brother. Her parents are estranged. Like her father is having health issues. Like nobody seems to care about her. Nobody's listening. Nobody's noticing her. And throughout the story, what's building inside of Shadi is that she has gone through so much trauma and she is desperately crying out for help and everybody around her is doing the same thing and everybody is very much consumed by their own pain. This book is called An Emotion of Great Delight. Um, you're not going to be feeling any emotions of great delight while you read this book. It's very sad. It's sad the entire time. Um, I would say that it has a, a great ending. I think the ending was very good, but it is sad the whole time. There are intense themes of suicide in this book. There are a lot of feelings of hopelessness and everything but I would still say that this is a book that is 100% worth reading. I do wish I had gone into it knowing how heavy it was going to be because I came out of it like unprepared for how it was going to affect me. You know, like I've dealt with friends who have tried to commit suicide in the past. I've dealt with like these overwhelming feelings of depression. Like I really did relate with Shadi. And I think going into it, I wish I had been just a little bit more aware of that. But overall, I think what Tyra Mafia is doing is painting this really realistic picture of what it was like for this family to be living in that time and for what they were going through and everything that had happened. And it was just a very beautifully put together story. If you are not here for like the heavy, heavy angst, this book will probably be hard to get through. I think that it was the perfect length. I think that if it had been any longer, it would have been too much. If it had been shorter, it wouldn't have felt like the ending had quite been like, you know, we had like arrived and we had felt that pain. Like there's this really visual moment at the end where Shadi is just like screaming. And I think it is just so, so earned by the time you finally get there with this book. So like for those reasons, I am giving this book an A plus, but just be aware it's, it's a heavy read and you really do need to go into it with that mindset that it's going to take a toll, like it's going to be a lot. Um, there is no delight to be had in this book, but I think the emotion of great delight is that there will be hope again. And I just really, really enjoyed it. And I'm very excited to see more from Tahir Mafi in the future. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to talk books with me every week. That is everything I got for today. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.